there and welcome to Velo Italia. Today we're going to take a close look at a couple of the top Rafa shorts, the Pro 2 and the Cargo. These two shorts have different pads in them so we're going to take a bit of a deep dive into what the differences actually are between them and how that might affect your comfort or performance. If you're interested in the results stick around till the end. So, which shorts are we looking at? Let's take a closer look at some of the details. So to measure the relative densities of the foam in the pads, we're going to use a cool little tool called an F-Shore Geometer or Foam Shore Geometer. This tool basically measures the amount of compression for a given weight in the foam, and hence we can work out what the relative densities are. To ensure that the readings are as consistent as possible, we will be backing the pad with this piece of six millimeter steel so that the rest of the short doesn't add to the compression. So, you can see here that the cargo shorts are coming in at a consistent 51 shore on both sides of the pad. And here, you can see that the Pro Team 2 pad is slightly firmer at a shore of 57 on both sides. Okay, so on to the main event. The protocol for the test is as follows. I'm gonna ride my normal summer road bike using the saddle that I normally use, which is a GBMI Sleek in 145 with a channel, not a cutout. And then we're going to pressure map that using the GBMI's pressure mapping system. This system is generally accepted in the cycle industry as the gold standard. And we've used it for many years, we've done countless pressure maps on there. And we've become quite adept at being able to read them and understand what is going on at the saddle. The position I'm riding in is my standard summer road bike position. It's one that I've tweaked for many years here at the studio and I know that I can hold this position comfortably for many hours. We also put a live feed on screen for me and drew some splines onto it in our Dartfish software so that I could maintain the same position both in the hoods and the drops for both shorts. Also on screen I had my pedalling dynamics so that I could make sure that I maintained the same power, cadence and level of smoothness whilst I'm pedalling. This is important because if I was pedaling in a more jerky motion, that would affect the pressure map in a different way. Whilst all the tests were being undertaken, Louis made sure to turn the screen away so that I couldn't see what was happening. That way I can't affect uh, how the pressure maps are being taken, which makes it a proper blind test on my part. As you can see, we also ensure that the pads were sitting square on me. Firstly, let's look at the pressures whilst in the drops. Here's the movement of the pressures whilst I'm pedaling. Now, if we keep all of the maximum pressures on screen, it gives us a static picture of the spread of pressures across the saddle, like this. Normally, when you go down onto the drops, it rotates the pelvis slightly further forwards so that you start to spread the load across the pubic rami and the ischial tuberosities. This is important because the bigger surface area that you're spreading your weight on means that your mass uh, will create less pressure. It's pretty basic physics. At these slightly lower pressures, the difference in foam density doesn't really seem to make a lot of difference. Okay, so now let's take a look at the pressure in the hoods. So because you're rotating less, you're placing more weight through the ischial tuberosities. So more of your mass is going through a smaller surface area. Hence, the pressures are slightly higher. If we take a look at the maximum pressure map, 
then you can see that the higher density Pro Pad has supported the pelvis slightly more, keeping some of the mass away from the saddle. So what we're seeing here is that the compression on the harder foam pad in the Pro Short is actually supporting the pelvis above the saddle slightly more, as opposed to the cargo pad, which is allowing more of the pelvis to get through to the saddle. So, what have we actually learned? We can prove that the Pro Pad has a firmer density than the cargo pad, and that through the pressure maps, we can see that that holds the pelvis slightly further away from the saddle. But how does that affect your comfort and performance? Well, we think that that firmer pad density on the Pro Shore means that, you know, regardless of what position you're in on the bike, you're going to have um, an amount of comfort. Now this makes a lot of sense when you consider that it's designed for fast and aggressive riding. You know, if you look at the way that your weight is supported on the bike, it's a system, right? So it's the, uh, the foam density of the short, and also it's the foam density, if it has any, of the saddle, and also the saddle's shape and position. Now both of these work in conjunction to hold you up, right, and support the pelvis properly. But if you're in a fast and aggressive position and you're using a saddle such as the Physic Arione or any of these kind of longer or, or flatter saddles, it makes it very easy to kind of move around, move forwards and backwards to recruit the muscles slightly differently depending on the type of riding you're doing at that point. And having that firmer pad really helps with that. You know, it means that even if you're on the rivet or even in like a TT position, that firm density is going to give you a little bit of comfort for long enough that, that you need it. And typically these conditions aren't going to be endured for hours and hours and hours. When you then consider the, the cargo pad, which is slightly lower density, but slightly bigger, what that seems to do is it really allows the pelvis to engage correctly with a well-positioned saddle. Now the key there is a well-positioned saddle, right? So it means that you do need to be sitting on a bike that's been properly fitted to you, which is fine, you know, that's why you come to see people like us. But um, what it really does is it allows you to sit on that saddle, engage the pelvis so that you've got all day comfort. And that's what it's designed for. So, you know, I think, I think Rafa have done some good work there. There were one or two little anecdotal things I just wanted to cover off. Firstly, with the cargo short, you know, the cut of it is, is really interesting and absolutely fit for purpose if you're thinking of using it for something like bikepacking, touring, or just, you know, long all day rides. The lower front makes it much easier to go to the toilet. Um, it's not massively compressive, so it's really comfortable to wear for long hours. Rafa claimed that this pad dries very quickly, and we've done a couple of test washes on these now, and, and the, the, the cargo pad dries considerably quicker than other pads of other shorts that we're looking at. With the Pro Short, when we first got it, we were worried that we'd got a faulty pair, because when I first put them on, it felt like the pad was in totally the wrong place. However, on getting onto the bike, the cut of the garment pulled everything kind of into place. And whilst you're in a road bike cycling position, the pad is perfectly placed. So hopefully that has been interesting for you. It certainly was for us. We learned a lot in doing this. And we're gonna to continue to do some other testing now on other brands of shorts. Um, and also do some long-term testing on these two wrapper shorts to see how they hold up to multiple hot washes and that sort of thing. But what do you think? Have you guys got any experience of these shorts and have any useful information that we haven't touched on? I'd be really interested to uh, hear your thoughts. And also, if there are other brands of shorts you'd like us to take a look at or any other products in general that you'd like us to take a deeper dive and slightly more scientific look at, please drop your thoughts into the comments below and we'll see what we can do. We've got one or two interesting little tests coming up, so watch out for those. We only post something when we think we've got you something useful to say, so if you're at all interested in what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel and click the little alarm bell so you get notified when we drop something. Thank you so much for watching and ride safe. Come on, Pippa, let's go for a walk.